Hey guys, I got an Axial 10 2 Builders Kit right here. Um, I'm going to finish this up with the electronics and try to keep it as cheap and as light as possible and also make it work on a competition course. Take a look. As far as the electronics go, I'm going to keep it nice, simple, and cheap. Here's a Hobbywing 1080 ESC. Here's an Apex 21 turn because I'm going to be running the 2S battery in it. I'm working on getting some 850 milliamp 3S batteries from Sean Larmer at Jack's RC Recycle and Repair. When I get those in, I'll put the 27 turn in. Now these are Apex branded, which are rebranded of knockoffs of whatever. I mean, they're, they are nothing special and they're around 20 bucks. This is the DS3218 MG Servo. That's also about 20 bucks. You can get it off of Amazon or eBay. Cheap, lightweight, uh, flat sky receiver, just a three channel because this is not gonna have anything extra in it at all. I got Deep Woods glue on tires. So these are lightweight as well. Now the battery that I showed you is a 1500 milliamp 2S and it actually came in the Banggood car that I recently did a video on. This is actually a really decent car. I kind of liked it, but I'm using the battery out of that for this. So the goal is to keep it light and make it competitive. I've already swapped in an older style transmission uh, the stock transmission that comes in the builder kit is perfectly fine. This one, however, is a little bit lighter and I had it like sitting in a box. So good to go there. As far as the shocks go, if you look on the Axial website, you can see there's a, a tip, a free tip for making your suspension seem softer. The rear shocks are white. The front shocks are yellow. Now with the mod that you see here, I just simply move these forward and flip them around. This is also on the Axial website. These are the yellow front springs in the back and the white springs are up front. I'm keeping this thing super light. So once I get the body on, I'm probably going to be buying some springs to further tune it. However, for right now, here it is. I'm going to put in the electronics and the motor is obviously where the motor normally goes. The ESC receiver and the battery are all going in the stock battery tray. I'm going to keep this because you never really know what I'm going to do with the truck once I finish this test. It may actually get brushless. I may want to take it on a hike or something, you know, where a little small battery just won't get the job done. So I'm fixing to put it all the stuff right in. So the layout is really simple. Uh, just stuck the 1080 fits in there perfectly. The little three channel right underneath the on off switch and the battery is just kind of stuck in there for now. I'll come up with a better way to secure it. Servo is in place. Had to add some washers to kind of space it up because it was getting into the pan hard bar mount up at the chassis. Got a 10 tooth pinion gear from Boom Racing. And um, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the tires on it and see how much this thing weighs in and maybe take it outside. Real quick before I put the tires on, let's get a weight of the chassis as a kind of a slider. 1,319 grams, 46.5 ounces, two pounds, 14 and a half ounces. These tires are really light. They are 432 grams, 15.2 ounces. So they aren't even a pound in weight. The rolling and driving chassis comes in at 1,751 grams, 61.8 ounces, three pounds, 13.8 ounces. Still under four pounds, but it still doesn't have a body either. Quick pre-run check. Mm-hmm. Gonna have to add some bracing to that. I definitely got some flex on the pan hard mount up to the shock piece. Maybe there was supposed to be a brace going across that. I'm not sure. The uh, chassis was put together for me, but anyway. Sweet. Let's finally get this thing outside.
So the lightweight axle did really good on the rocks. It really did good everywhere. However, with the chassis, axles, and wheels and tires being so light, the effects of a body, even a lightweight body, is going to have pretty bad effects, I believe, on the truck. So when I get a new body, I'll take it back out there and see what it's got. But until then, check the description below for links to everything in the truck. It's all simple bolt-on stuff. And as always, thank you all for watching.